Zoya, I think, had seen this film called Titli, yeah. uh, which she had, I think, liked me in, and so she called me in for a test. And in her office, she told me, "This is the narrator of the show, and uh, we need you to narrate this." And uh, he's a filmmaker who looks at life in a very, un, you know, in a in a very uh, transparent way. And so I love the character, and that's that's it. I mean, I didn't decide anything yet. You know, I, okay. I wish I could decide anything. Like, I will become a sutradhar, but I didn't think about it. 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 I didn't think about Thank you for joining us today at midday. Thank you know, you first of all, congratulations on a fabulous show. And my first question to you would be: Do you believe in the idea of made in heaven? Um, do I believe in the idea of made in heaven? I believe in the idea of love. I believe love is a heavenly thing, but maybe not marriages. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm a little mixed on that. You know, the whole series about weddings and all the issues that take place. Mm. You know, in the making of a wedding or. What happens with inside a marriage, right? Mm. But does that affect you in a way in a personal life to think, okay, no, I don't think marriage would be my thing. I don't think marriage would be my thing. Uh, I don't know if I find the right person who also wants the same thing, then maybe marriage is my thing. Depends on my partner, uh, what they want. Um, I am, like I said, big on love. Um, we can call it anything. You know, you can call it uh, uh, marriage. You can call it a communion, you can call it a relationship. It doesn't matter as long as there's respect. and as long as there's love between the two partners i don't think it matters what we call it and was it a life changing experience for you at the show career wise as well oh of course every project i do is a life changing experience yeah, that's why i take a project on literally every project and especially kabir especially made in heaven as well what is it about kabir that you maybe relate to the most and maybe hmm. you you know separate yourself the most thinking that you know okay this is not me as a person so what i really like about kabir is that he he's not a very judgmental person that yeah. he's not classist that he's not uh, he doesn't judge society for its face um, um so i really like that what i don't like about him is that he's perhaps not the most proactive person uh, uh he doesn't act on what he feel uh, you know so he maybe lets the world take advantage of him a bit much and i i don't like that about him uh, i wish he was more proactive i wish he was more uh, outspoken but he's not Correct, but there's a scene uh, where you know uh, you're talking to the uh, the other lady, mm. and you are you you talk about how you know it's not just me who's at fault. Even you have been uh, kind of the same character, right? Mm. So when she talks about your uh, you know being friends with the mechanic mm. at that point of time, and you know in that scene, but you mm. did speak out in a way. You did probably spoke out about how you're feeling as a ca- as Kabir feels. Like okay. Mm. you cannot just blast on me maybe like that mm. that character came to you right mm. so do you think maybe that was a changing point for kabir as a character i don't know if it's a changing point but it's a point where he confronts uh, i don't know there's no spoilers but you know it's a point he confronts jazz um, yeah and it's a point where he lets jazz know that uh, uh, she is not very different from him uh because perhaps she's hiding something as well like he's hiding in his life and so it's a point at which they both realize they are the same uh uh and they have the same problems so i don't know if it's uh, if it's a point where he suddenly changes uh i i don't know if it's a point of change more is just honesty you know the voice behind the whole narratives that come out in, in the end of each episode right, right? and that y- your voice brings out the the naturality if i say like the p- pureness of the purity of the series altogether the way you're narrating the whole stories does that have to le- does that le- uh, lead to the thought that you know maybe you do not speak out much like you mentioned as a character he doesn't open up as such mm-hmm. he's not somebody who would uh, take initiatives on his own in the first place mm-hmm. but when you speak out in those voice overs mm-hmm. is it like uh is it like a portrayal of okay this is what this is how kabir thinks but he's not really talking about it yeah i mean you got it right this is how he thinks this is how he looks at the world uh and he looks at the different biases in the world the different uh, uh, divisions uh, the different classes and he brings it together in his vision and so you're right he 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 doesn't act on this vision as much as he should he's making a documentary film yeah. which is what made in heaven is 
uh, uh, for him and so he doesn't act on this as much as he's a filmmaker he's an artist so he wants to depict this in his work you know and maybe not uh, uh, voice this outside his work as much correct hmm. but how did this happen like you know, how did you guys decide you know that you will be the voice hmm. behind the narratives of so the series i didn't decide anything um i tested for this role mm-hmm. i think like all of us uh, and and zoya decided and zoya i think had seen this film called titli yeah. uh, which she had i think liked me in and so she called me in for a test and in her office she told me this is the narrator of the show and uh, we need you to narrate this and uh, he's a filmmaker who looks at life in a very un you know in a in a way uh, transparent way and so i love the character and that's that's it i mean i didn't decide anything yet you know i, I wish i could decide anything mai sutradhar banunga iska par maine nahi socha iske bare mein zoya reema ne socha aur unne mujhe ye naukri di when you mentioned that you know you audition for it and you got the part hmm. but when you read the script of it you know that okay fine i have to go and you know i have to pitch myself for this role what clicked you hmm. the most that you know i have to do this the fact that it represented our society to such an accurate uh, extent the fact that it showed um, the weakness of indian society the biases the you know the racism the the misogyny the patriarchy that is inherent to indian society um, and we have to change it and i that's what i loved about the show yeah you know um, it wasn't as much as my character as it was the whole thing every character you know when it comes to the whole season hmm. the first season and the second season both actually all together your character transformation has taken place probably more in the second season right do you believe that i guess you see a bit more of kabir in the second season um uh, i guess you see him in a conflict which we didn't see him in the first season so maybe yeah you're right but the part with you know uh, discussing things with parents re- meeting the parents with the with your hmm. uh, your partner your girlfriend or a friend you visit for dinners mm-hmm. all of that happen there there is a fine kind of a conflict between the parents and kabir right. as well right. right so all of that came out but still kabir is somebody who's not talking much mm-hmm. do you think there'll be a third season where maybe you know kabir will be much more out in the open i don't know man amazon will have to tell you that <laughs> uh, if there is a third season um, if there is one I hope uh, we get to see more of Kabir, and I get to take his journey a little ahead. But I can't really, honestly, say. Uh, uh, you know, we don't know yet. Uh, only Amazon will be able to tell you. <laughs> but do you do you wish that if you know if that happens, it could be fun and it's great? Well, I'll keep doing this till the day I'm 60. Yeah, we'll have made in heaven 24, <laughs> and uh, I will be old, and I'll be on a walking stick with a camera, and I'll be walking like this. No, honestly, I you know if they write it, I'll do it. Uh, Got it. Uh, without a doubt. You're somebody who's also a writer. and is into music as well and you wish to direct some day is what i've read about you so do you plan to do that any time soon or you want to continue with acting right now so i wish to direct very soon um hoping that someone gives me the money to direct uh, the film i want to and the moment that comes in i'm going to start and as soon as i can very soon maybe in the next year uh, and i'm writing as well i've written the script myself so oh, nice. uh, let's hope yeah. okay will you be acting in it as well no Uh, I'm going to get all my friends to act for free uh, <laughs> which is Ali Fazal and uh, uh, Vijay Verma and, and Jim Sarab and uh, Nawazuddin Siddiqui but like please do this for free it's my first film so hopefully they'll say yes guys if you're listening you have to do it for free and Vikrant Masi all these wonderful actors what wonderful actors we have these days no what a bunch of great people there yeah. what a bunch of actors i love it uh, i i feel such a great direction for indian cinema man what a great space for us to go wonderful people You know, Rasika Dukar, what an actor, man! What mm. wonderful people. Well, you've given names mm. that if this movie comes out by next year, big like your many, it's going to be a big movie. लोगों जरूर देखिएगा विजय वर्मा अली फजल विक्रांत मासी बहुत खूब कलाकार बढ़िया just uh, hopefully I'll get money to make it. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to get there, and we'll have that big movie out for us to look at, to watch, and enjoy. And definitely get back to you for an interview when you talk about, you know, from this to that, and you know, now you're a director, you're out with your story. I hope so. Too. Thank you for saying that. Most welcome. But what is your most memorable uh, feel from Made in Heaven overall? The whole series, one and two, Malake. If you talk about it. Hmm. your most memorable moment that you would not forget this is the best part of the series this is the best point of the shoot that we had one thing that you'll never forget 
द पीपल यू मीट यार दैज नो वन पॉइंट कि उस सुबह मैंने कबाब खाए या वो सुबह मैंने वैली फ्लावर्स देखी नीस फ्रांस में इट्स द पीपल यू मीट इट्स द कनेक्शन यू मेक एंड दर सो मनी वंडरफुल पीपल आर गॉट टू वर्क विद यार एंड सो ऑल दीज पीपल आर पार्ट ऑफ दैट फीलिंग आई कान सिंगल ऑन बी लाइक वो सुबह मैं और जायज कचौड़ी खाने गए थे नहीं यू नो आई कान आई कान ब्रेक इट डाउन इन टू वन मोमेंट बहुत सारे पल हैं बहुत सारे दिन थे हमने तीन साल शूट किया ये शो दूसरा सीजन पहला सीज़न एक डेढ़ साल शूट किया तो इतने सारे पल हैं मैं आपको बता नहीं सकता पर इन पलों में सबसे अहम चीज़ होती है लोग जो लोग जिनसे आप मिले जिनके साथ आपने वक्त बताया एक दिन बुखार होता है तो एक दिन अच्छे होते हो एक दिन तो ऑल दीज आर द मेमरीज यू टेक विद यू एंड सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द बॉन्डिंग्स हु इज़ अ पर्सन यू रियली बॉन्डेड विद द मोस्ट इफ यू Who do I really bond with the most? My DPs, uh, my my hair. I have a wonderful person, Rohit Mane, who does hair for Kabir. Uh, okay. Exceptional, you know, big big shout out to him. Uh, my makeup team, Xavier, uh, who does makeup for Kabir. Uh, these are people I end up spending, you know, eighteen hours a day yeah. with, and we are stuck in the back while the camera is rolling together. And so, uh, these are some of the teammates who I who I owe my uh, thanks to and. Uh, lots of love too and there's so many people who make cinema yaar and it's, you know we only talk about actors all the time but actors make up 5% of a set you know and there's all these other wonderful people on a set who you end up becoming friends with and i i love them all okay hmm. well uh, you know uh, bulbul the hmm. character bulbul mona singh is the newest member of the made in heaven right. family right. and it's been a craze overall from the trailer launches to the whole series you know even after the reviews are out people have been talking about it what's your take on that she's the most bubbly character but uh, the 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 most interesting part of it is when you when she comes out mm. for the first time in the series mm. people imagine her to be something else maybe but later she turns out to be somebody who has great intuition she has a great gut feeling of things and she she's a strong woman Right. and she'll speak for it and she'll try to be as human as possible which initially you know that first episode after when you meet her for the first time and like who is this person and what is she doing and then she doesn't know how to talk maybe you know how how she spoke to jazz mm. right from there to that when you saw that happening mm. to her the character for her what was it like how did the environment shooting at that point of time change with bulbul coming as a character for made in heaven mona singh is the most wonderful uh, actor to have on set around she's a she's a and what a character right bulbul and and she is such a positive energy on set that uh, it's it's great working with mona yaar and i can't spoil it i can't be like ye hota hai is character ke sath aur aage kya hota hai but uh, mona is a classic example of a uh, bulbul is a classic example of don't judge a book by its cover uh, aapko jo lagta hai wo aisa hota nahi hai kabhi kabhi jo insaan kharab lagta hai to wo andar se bahut khoobsurat hota hai jo kabhi kabhi bahut khoobsurat lagta hai andar se bahut khatarnak hota hai um so this is uh, uh, you know a bit about mona and uh, lots of love to you mona I'm, you know such such a great job she's done i feel in the show and she's so effortless to work with uh, she's such a warm person okay mm-hmm. now what about your future plans you know made it heaven is already out mm-hmm. you know you we've talked about you coming out as a director for sure but what about your acting projects what are coming forward so i'm looking forward to this film uh, by reema kakti called malikaon ka superman Wow. Uh, which we shot uh, we finished shooting this year uh, it also has adarsh gorav and vinith kumar singh the wonderful actors this is a film by dibak banerji called tees uh, with nasiruddin shah manisha koirala uh, neeraj kabi uh, zoya husain and uh, hopefully you'll get to see that soon as well my last question actually would hmm. be raksha bandhan is around the corner Ji. but beyond that we have teachers day coming right right and you have a sister as well i do i have an older sister chandni yeah so yeah. Yeah so you know when it comes to Raksha Bandhan which is your most favorite movie or what's that bonding that uh, of yours maybe a memory of yours with your sister that you would like to really remember my bonding my memory with my sister ek din main bully ho raha tha school mein aur mere ko ek senior ne bahut tang kiya tha aur i think aake ek thappad mara tha aur main ro raha tha aur meri behan ne mujhe dekh liya wo 4 saal badi thi mujhse aur usne pucha kisne kiya ye uske baad jo hua tha is one my most favorite memories uh, in school because she is my protector and she has been taking care of me so uh, uh, in fact uh, uh, meri behan uh, uh, mujhe rakhi banti hai aur main apni behan ko bhi rakhi banta hu hum ek dusre ko protect karte hain bachpan se hum dono ek dusre ko rakhi bantte hain uh, because uh, uh, 
you know she's been a she's been like a, a guardian for me my whole life and so many memories are yeah, very special with my sister i love her and uh, teachers day bhi ab special hai kyunki uh, uh, some of my most amazing teachers who are my acting teachers uh, they they are the reason i'm here today and uh, i also teach sometimes now to mujhe bhi teacher uh, uh, happy teachers day ke cards milte hain kyunki ab main buddha ho chuka hu to i feel very happy you know it's great days coming and, yeah so you know life is a school as well hmm. and it teaches you a lot right so any moment from your life that you would want to share that you know th- that phase of my life i learned the most and i would always remember it and make sure that you know later whenever i do something in life and if there's something maybe similar to what happened initially mm. i'll remember this and this is my lesson there's many of them that's a good question uh, the moments when we are at our weakest right um jab kamzor hote hain un palon se main seekhta hu jin waqt main kamzor tha jab maine kuch sahi kiya usse itni sikhai milti nahi hai but kuch galat karte ho उससे सीखने को मिलता है और मैंने बहुत गलतियाँ की हैं अपनी लाइफ में तो बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला है एंड सम ऑफ दीज गलतीज इन इंक्लूड मे बी वर्क मे बी रिलेशनशिप्स मे बी थिंग्स वीव डन एंड सो वी इवॉल्व आई गेट बेटर विद एवरी मिस्टेक आई मेक एंड द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स एंड लेटिंग योर सेल्फ मेक मिस्टेक्स एंड सेंग इट्स ओके टू मेक अ मिस्टेक बिकॉज नो वन इज परफेक्ट यू कॉन्ट जज योर सेल्फ एंड सो इट्स फाइन टू टू मेक अ मिस्टेक बिकॉज यू लर्न फ्रॉम दैम that is so true that is so well said you know we've come to an end of this but before that i would just want to say big big congratulations to you on made in heaven you've done a great part and we love the show and it is like we were discussing earlier it's something we can watch time and again it's never getting old it will always be made in heaven for us thank you so much you, and wish to see you more and more with in the future and good luck for your directorial debut thank you so much subscribe to midday india Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.